Hey guys, Clumsy here, and welcome back to Fernbus Simulator. It's not reloaded anymore, it is revisualized. So, a new tagline, a new tag word, I guess I should say. This is a beta update of version 1.18 point something, and uh, this is when they changed the term to revisualized and they added some new things, Re revamped the graphics changed the physics and I know a lot of people have been waiting for Fernbus to come back to the channel so here it is. Let's go and check it out together right how the beta is. And as always since it is a beta version we're not really sure how stable it is so far so we'll all just have to uh, keep our fingers crossed I guess. The map itself seems improved. This one says Europe now. The map itself seems improved when it comes to, to scrolling. It's easier to uh, see the different cities and the different roads disappear when you're zoomed out and zoomed in very easy to read that's nice i guess we can take a trip today from vienna to graz if you remember from the last episode that was a long time ago we arrived in vienna i believe we should see it here i think yeah salzburg to vienna so salzburg is here yeah so we crossed over the northern area of austria now we'll be crossing down to Vienna, going south, passing through, and then arriving in Graz. And I'll be sharing some of the specific updates as we go along, right? And eventually maybe we can explore Switzerland. It all depends how stable this, uh, this uh, update is. I'm really hoping it is though. Route number 11 it is, That's where we're going. Route 11, let's start off in Vienna and go to grass yeah 197 kilometers that should be a quick one check in time three minutes let's do an express thing i'm not sure if that changes anything when it comes to the gameplay i guess it's all just changing the display of the bus of the coach that's good and here we are you can see immediately the difference in graphics a bit different lighting a bit different in terms of textures looking smooth so far huh now I do miss the MEN so we'll go with that for now the MEN Lions coach this one let's see if there are other new, new skins I don't think so mine Fernbus stagecoach is still here and the SG love bus <laughs> is still here as well but we'll, uh, we'll stick with the, the official one yeah for old times sake I think that's uh, a fair thing. Let's go with that. B clumps. License plate. <laughs> Alright, let's leave that there. Dynamic system. 7 a.m. Realistic controls. Let's start from the basics again. And I'm hoping that the performance has improved. Some people have been complaining about it, but we will see it for ourselves. I think they changed a lot of textures during the, the during this update, so we'll see how that affects the performance and stuff. Yeah. So let me read the official update while it's uh, while it's loading. This update brings an overhaul of the environment graphics, skylight, and post processing. But it's not just the eye candy. We've been working under the hood as well. Is it raining? It seems like it is actually. It is raining. Okay, so that's one of the updates. You can see the minimap on the lower right. It's actually reflecting now your real-time position, even when you're outside the bus. I don't think it used to do that. The bus is still as uh, realistic as ever. And it's actually already wet. You can see the droplets of water, even if we're inside the garage. A bit advanced, huh? Why not? So let me continue reading that one. It's not just all about the eye candy. We've been working under the hood as well, as the driving physics has been updated for all coaches. We'll be testing that out today. Hopefully we can notice it. Including that performance and streaming have been improved and optimized. Okay, that's good. Right. Here it is. It's actually raining inside already. Right. Let's close the door. I hope I still remember my hotkeys here. The seat position, not too bad. I think we'll keep it that way. Um, turn on the display 
There we go. It says X11 for Express. Start the engine. Good. I can hear it. And if we go through here, air conditioning. I think that should be enough. And maybe lights as well. There we go. That's a bit bright, huh? Now, we do need the wipers. There's all the wipers. And we'll see how the performance is. Actually, we can change as well the uh, the weather here, right? I remembered you can change the weather on the upper left uh, here. So if you don't want rain, you can change it up. So maybe we'll, let's take rain. And then when we get to the stop, let's make it sunny just so we can see everything, all the different uh, combinations, right? Right. So brakes and uh, shift gear up and loosen the parking brake. Off we go. Now let's observe if the physics indeed have changed and if they are affected by the, the rain at all. If it's uh, maybe slippier or something. Has the graphics changed from your point of view, guys? How is it different now? I'm not sure I notice any difference. I guess in terms of lighting, there is a change. But um, in terms of the overall graphics, I think it's more or less the same. Look at it from outside. The lighting, the reflection is still uh, spot on. Although to be honest, since I've been playing Bus Simulator 18 so much in that game's graphics, I just noticed I think it's better than this one. What do you guys think? I know it's not really that good to compare, but uh, they're both using the Unreal Engine. And uh, so it should be a more or less an apples to apples comparison yeah. in terms of performance, in terms of uh, the overall looks. What do you guys think? I do love the reflections there. But for some reason, when I look at the, the cars, they seem like they're, I don't know how to describe it. It seems like they're floating a bit, even if they're not really. Maybe it's because of the shadows. I don't know. And in terms of graphics settings, I have everything in Ultra. So this should be the maximum possible. I don't quite get it why I uh, why it feels a bit different. Maybe maybe the shadows are the culprit. Like I don't notice anything wrong it, per se, but it just feel, doesn't feel so natural the movement of the cars. The reflection is amazing as always. But I'm not sure. Something is different. Maybe you guys notice it better. Like look at that reflection on the ground. That looks so good, doesn't it? Now that one I really like. And the engine sound is not that bad. Also have retarder enabled. Well, not enabled, but available. Let's see. Let's see another one from the close. Frame rates are not too bad. It's not the smoothest. But it's not bad either. I mean, that one is not bad, right? Look at the reflections there. Beautiful. That is just beautiful. Still no, no photo mode though. Still no photo mode. So while I'm driving to the stop, let me maybe read some of the patch notes. What exact things have changed in this update. So it says, um, and yeah, just take note that this is a beta, so we might encounter some new bugs that we haven't seen before. Some new features, but most likely some new bugs as well. Look at that lens flare. Ooh, super reflective surface. So change log. First on the list is the physics. Driving physics of all coaches have been updated So remember my main complaint before when it was uh, oh, I like this surface I like this. It's like uh, what, what kind of surface is that? 
it's not bricks right it's like cobblestones i don't know how to describe it but i do like it and my force feedback is reacting wildly with it this one looks uh, very good yeah reflections on this texture spot on beautiful so yeah physics um the driving physics of all coaches have been updated you know that main problem that we had before like when you're in an autobahn and uh it's going downhill but even if it's going downhill and you let go of the gas you let go of the pedal it's still uh, slowing down so it doesn't really take into account gravity things like that so this one it says acceleration and deceleration bug when driving on slopes has been fixed so that should work properly now we'll try and test that as we are on the highway i'm sure we'll encounter that somehow and we'll be able to ch check and uh, you guys can help me verify how it looks right so we turn right here and of course red light yeah i almost rem i almost forgot but yeah fernbus does love its uh its traffic lights and traffic in general I, I can't describe it. There is something unnatural about the cars, but I can't quite my, put my finger on it. It seems like they're not really like uh, driving against the ground. Somehow they feels like they're floating, even if they're not really. If you look at it, they're not really above ground. Maybe it's the shadows, huh? Yeah, maybe. I don't know. You guys let me know in the comments. And then they also fixed the comfort classes, the Cetras, I think, should accelerate faster, they said. Aside from that, that's the, those are the updates from the physics point of view. And from the graphics, all landscape textures have been overhauled. So all landscape textures, that's interesting. Because I don't think there were like big complaints when it came to the landscape before. But I'm not sure why they decided to change it. It's not like it looked bad, right? I mean, maybe performance-wise they could have improved it, but in terms of looks, I wouldn't have any complaints there. I don't know. Maybe they just wanted a different look. Oh, look at this. Welcome to the Fernbus HQ. And there's our stop. Okay. There's all, all the people waiting. It's nice. the stagecoach skin and here's another one i like this i like this terminal and i like how the ground isn't even like you have puddles some in some places in some places it's fine it looks so realistic i like this bit here this piece of ground here very nicely done so from this point of view i think uh, i like this better in terms of water reflections versus bus in 18 at least okay there we go let's make sure not hit anybody good let's uh open the door let me check first what time should we be leaving 702 okay we are pretty early so we do not have enough time Right? Let's check in the people so they don't get wet. Let's open the compartments first. And if this is your first time watching this uh, this game, if you haven't seen this game before, it's called Fernbush Simulator. And uh, the object of the game is to transport people across cities. Yeah, it's not like Bus Simulator 18 where you, you have a city bus. Here you have a coach and uh, you travel across Europe well right now Germany, Switzerland and Mahlzeit. Austria Bitte sehr. and the travel Mahlzeit. Ist das the people Nein. move the people from one city to another Moin. Ich hoffe, ich bin hier so you only have like one stop per city Fahren Sie in meine Richtung? Cool. so you do Ciao. this kind of thing Fahren where you Sie check them in make sure that they are part of the entourage Yes. Is that where we're going? I already forgot. Anyway, we can check that here. There you go. 
That's good. And this is actually a skill that you'll get after your after you reach a certain level. In the beginning, you would have to check the tickets manually, but after a while, they allow you to just automate it and scan the QR code, and uh, let the system check itself if uh, the passenger should belong like that or uh, to a different one. Lots of uh, people who are just purchasing the tickets right now. Eating up all my allowance time, guys. Oh, is it? Is it hot? Yeah, it is kind of summer in reality, right? Maybe that's not a bad outfit. Good. Are we good? Yes, we're good. And yeah, they, they still don't climb the, the bus. Um, we were informed before that that was like a, a an engine limitation that they're not able to ride the bus because when they switched uh, to a meal engine but I'm not sure that's true maybe the developers have not been able to find a way to do it but it's not it shouldn't be a limitation of the engine because in bus sim 18 the passengers do board the bus oh, it's much quieter in here and is it actually sunny now? It is, huh? It is. Ooh, nice. Will you look at that? It actually changed. So let's uh, remove that. Let's close the door. I think it's the first time I saw really dynamic weather at work. Maybe it's uh, maybe they implemented that successfully now. 701, good. We, let's do the thingies. Air conditioning. I'm not sure what is the ideal temperature. Let's keep it there. Yeah. Reading light. Passenger light. Oh, that's the announcement. Oh. Passenger monitor. Yeah. What else? Wi Fi. We might like that. Kitchen clearance. Water closet. What is fanfare again? I forgot. Let's just turn it on. Passenger light on, and then let's play it, and I'll keep quiet for a bit. Hallo und herzlich willkommen bei Flixbus. Wir freuen uns, dass ihr an Bord seid und wir gemeinsam unser heutiges Reiseziel ansteuern. Bevor wir richtig in Fahrt kommen, hier ein paar Hinweise. Auch bei uns im Bus gilt die gesetzliche Anschnallpflicht. Bitte schnallt euch deshalb während der gesamten Fahrt an. In den Sitztaschen vor euch findet ihr unsere Bordkarte mit weiteren Sicherheitshinweisen und Infos zu unserem Snack- und Getränkeangebot. Eine Toilette befindet sich im hinteren Einstiegsbereich. Wer kostenlos surfen will, wählt sich einfach in unser WLAN-Netz ein. Unser Reisetipp fürs Internet? Schaut doch mal auf unserer Facebook-Page vorbei. Unser Team freut sich riesig über eure Likes und Nachrichten. Sollte euer Akku zu Neige gehen, kein Problem. Viele unserer Sitze sind mit Steckdosen ausgestattet und entsprechend gekennzeichnet. So könnt ihr euer Smartphone die gesamte Fahrt über nutzen. Wenn ihr eure nächste Fahrt auch gleich mobil buchen wollt, holt euch einfach unsere App. One sec. Why is it like that? It, that looks weird, the GPS thing. It wants me to go like... Instead of going just straight, instead of just going making a U-turn like that, it wants me to go straight, turn around and then do it like that, when I could just turn right here. Und profitiert von right exklusiven Online-Angeboten. Auf flixbus.de stehen täglich brandaktuell alle Infos und Städteverbindungen für euch bereit. Natürlich wollen wir unseren Service ständig weiter verbessern. Für Feedback zu eurer Fahrt nutzt bitte den Fragebogen, den wir euch per E-Mail zuschicken. Wir danken für eure Aufmerksamkeit und wünschen eine entspannte Fahrt und viel Spaß an Bord bei Flixbus. Hello and welcome and to Flixbus. We English version. We're glad to have you on board and that we can get you to your favorite destination today. Before we set off, we would like to share some information about the journey. The wearing of seat belts is compulsory on board the bus. What very Therefore, nice road here. Please keep your seat belt fastened throughout the entire journey. I do like in the layout the of the city. In front of you. Let's take a shot here. This is very nice. might think I'm weird. The rougher the road, the the the, the better I like it. <laughs> the internet free of charge. Simply log on to our like onboard Wi-Fi network. If your battery runs out, no problem. Many of our seats are equipped with power outlets, which are marked accordingly. 
If you would like to book your next journey while you're on the road, simply download our app onto your smartphone. Did you notice if the cars, the AI cars were passing through the hump? If they were like uh, just passing it through or were they also getting affected with the humps? That would have been nice to try. Send you by email to give us feedback about your journey. You can also use it to share your suggestions, ideas, and requests. We are always ready to assist. And now, we can finally set off. Thank you for listening. We hope you have a relaxing journey here. and enjoy traveling with Flixbus. I'm testing the physics. It's uphill. And uh, yes, my speed seems to be coming down faster because I am in a slope going uphill. Let's test that the other way around. That's the ultimate test. Because that's what for sure didn't happen before. When you're going downhill, your speed should go up instead of going down. The steering wheel seems a bit tighter now. Like I really have to uh, work it out. Okay, this one. Let's see. Let's have a look at the speed. I am still slowing down. Okay, uh, no, not really. Well, I guess it is kind of working. Yeah, because normally my speed would be going down faster. But now it's barely going slowing down at all. So I think it has an effect. Just not as dramatic as I hoped. Alright, fine, fine. And finally, uh, I have you guys all to myself again. No more announcer. Now we can drive. Hello, Fern bus driver. Let's toot at him. Nice. He has the bigger variant. Alright, let me read the other parts of the updates. Um, the entire vegetation has been overhauled. So you might notice some improvements on the vegetation as well. Honestly, I don't. Because they, they kind of look like that. I mean, they same in the graphics, the overall textures. I did not have anything bad against the, the textures. I do like it how it looks now, but I can't really differentiate how it looked before. Or maybe it's just been a, such a long time when, since I last played it, but... Yeah, it, I do like how it looks now. That's yeah, not bad. Although there is still that problem, like if you look at the signboard, you can read anything, there is no text. And the text only magically appears when you're closer like so. So that one I don't like, because it makes it harder to... Uh, realize where which direction you should be going the force feedback is does seem a bit better maybe that has something to do with the physics that they improved so i like that it seems a lot tougher though some people might not like that when it's too hard but i think you can modify that anyway so it shouldn't be a problem the skylight has been updated as well kirill might like it i'm not sure kirill if you're watching or foggy weather fans what do you think of the sky Earlier when it was raining, was the sky realistic or is it cloudy and stuff like that. And uh, while we're doing this, let me take some photos. This, uh, what is Fern bus without some nice photos on the way, right? I do like that. Very nice. Very nice. The performance isn't bad, right? I think it's uh, the same or just a tad better than the previous one. So with all the improvements that they had in terms of textures and graphics, they were able to maintain performance and that's, uh, that's a big deal. Kudos to them for that. It's a very nice job. So I like it. Let me guys know what you think if you notice anything that I missed. I probably missed a lot. So I'm looking forward to your comments, right? Post-processing has been updated, so the effects like lens flares, I guess that one we've seen earlier. The lens flares are still a bit excessive, but I guess that's a common mistake in the Unreal Engine. That's also present in Bus Simulator 18. So yeah, it's, uh, I guess it's a thing. I guess it's our Octorman and our lights here. I think that's the normal German law anyway. You have to keep your lights on at all times, unless you have daytime running lights, DRLs. And then uh, further minor bug fixes, it says here. It's not very specific, but I guess, yeah, not very, not warranting so much uh, discussion in there. 80. Let's slow down a bit. Yeah, let's keep that. 80. 
Until now, I'm still not sure when you go down to 80 and when you can climb to 100. Because they, it's, we're still in the autobahn and uh, it's still, the road is still wide. I guess when you're approaching an exit, I, I don't really know. The AI is uh, signaling right when it swerves, that's good. I'm not sure if it did that before. I'm not really sure. And I think I have to move to this other lane here. Thank you, yeah, exactly. And uh, has it turned to 100? I didn't even notice. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Are those the Alps, guys? I guess so, huh? Man, I would like to go there in real life at some point. I am speeding. Um, maybe not. Okay, maybe it's still 18 here. Maybe I well, had the wrong assumption. Even the, the barriers. They appear a bit too late, don't they? And why is this guy stopping? I don't know about you, but I'll swerve like here. Yeah, that, that thing there is super weird. That thing, like the aisle in the middle, that is so weird. And it just appears out of nowhere. I noticed that before already, it seems so weird to me. I really get it. Also the signages. The signage is still wrong, I believe, huh? This is still a German sign, isn't it? The Austrian signages look different from what I remember, from what I've seen in uh, ETS2 at least in Pro Mods. So I would have preferred, instead of uh, changing all the textures, improving them, if they made the signages, the textures on the signs, be more accurate, true to life. I would have preferred that, but uh, I'll take this. I'll take what they get. I mean, this, this is a free update after all, and the frame rates are looking better a bit. If I'm looking here at the road, it's very good. If I'm looking a bit there, it's a bit laggy, but uh, the view in the mountains, you cannot really deny that beauty, huh? That looks so good. Look at that. I just wish uh, there's a photo mode here. Or a boss. We have to like do it on our own, like so. Okay, let's test this. Look at the speed. Isn't this downhill? This is downhill, right? Or am I mistaken? It feels downhill. Let me go outside. I guess not so much. It is kind of. It is a bit. Probably not. Maybe not. Okay, fine. Yeah, I do love these textures though. Yeah, this view, I love it. This one. So nice. There's even like cabins up there. And the bridges look very different from each other. Kind of nice touch. Yeah, I really just wish that they also made the signs accurate. So Austrians and Swiss people will not get uh, turned off with the inaccurate road signs. 60. Why 60 here? That's strange. Oh, I forgot something, huh? Yeah, I forgot to signal to... Uh, you, probably got, you guys probably remember that. So I should like do a signal before I leave the station. I forgot to do that. I knew I forgot something. It was at the tip of my tongue. But yeah, I couldn't quite place it. Oh well. That's a bit of a deduction in terms of the score, but shouldn't uh, really lessen our driving experience in here. Yeah, the farther it gets, the better I like the graphics. I don't know, maybe it's get I'm getting used to it again. Or maybe it just doesn't look so good in the city. Or with the cars, but with the... Yeah, yeah, I guess that might be it. Or maybe because the graphics, the, the shadows in the city, for some reason, are muted. And in here, they're pretty much more realistic again. So the, the cars here, they don't look like they're floating anymore. Yeah, it must be the lighting in the city that's causing the problem. Because in here, I don't see any fault with the, the vehicles again. I like that. Okay. Alright, but anyway, let me go to the updates again. Uh, this, there are still some updates. GUI. 
world map icon and city name zoom states updated yeah that's what we saw in the initial uh, part of the, the episode right when we're looking at the city when we were looking at the map whenever you zoom out or in the the cities and the road names would uh, disappear or appear so it doesn't appear too cluttered that's very nice that's very nice i like that very nice touch the world map city names can now be localized in individual languages. Okay, that's good to hear. We don't really need it for hours. Oh, yeah, popping in uh, signs a bit too late. And the lights turning on as we reach them. That's how special we are. They're opening the lights like so. <laughs> yeah, I guess I guess the lights aren't being rendered until we're close by. And yeah, I really hate that part. I like. You see the signs are so bright but they don't appear until the last minute look at that you can definitely see the the signs popping in yeah the 60 look up top all right if you didn't see it that yeah, that one just fading in it's too late it's too late it should have been appearing much much farther yeah, i guess it's something to do with performance and yeah i am speeding in here my bad actually that's uh, weird because uh, the speed limit is 100 but these signs say 60 it's not consistent that might be wrong i guess the the speed limit in there wasn't updated one or the other isn't consistent grass straight ahead i hope that's how you pronounce it if it's not let me know in the comments right Okay, I guess I go uh, I go to the right based on the map. Okay, okay, I'll follow that. Lie back. Okay, this should be it. Yes, and then we loop around, eventually turning left. I like that trailer. That's a very nice trailer actually. Very nicely modeled. What was that sound? That should have been the, the the air pressure, I think. Maybe someone farted. <laughs> Shh, quiet. It wasn't me, guys. Oh, I love this. Very nice. Very nice map. Yeah, I just realized that we haven't explored. Whoa, bro. What the heck? Okay, this seems like one of the bugs, right? Maybe this wasn't supposed to be here because it seems like a pillar fell in the middle of the highway. Let's reset that. Good? Alright, good. Are you guys good? Let's uh, reset that because I think I'll hit this guy. There you go. I'm pressing the backspace to reset things. You know, that's a good workaround actually, although it doesn't say good things about the game. When there's an actual reset button, that means they expect that these things happen. But yeah, at least it's there, right? At least it's there. So they, they've, they, they've uh, like downright admitted that uh, they, some things aren't uh, as smooth and they can get stuck. So there is a reset button. To reset your position and the AI that's close to you, I think. That's how it goes. That's a shame. That was going so nicely. Okay. Alright. Seems like the AI swerving logic isn't too good. I was staying in my lane and the guy on the left was trying to squeeze into my lane without uh, taking into account where I was. That is not very good. Okay, I'm not sure if that was the AI logic before, but um, I do not like that one bit. Not one bit. And yeah, the, these popping in uh, signs again. There is an official term for this, like, is it popping? Because the, the, this is that is also how it worked in the with the trees. That's also one of the complaints. Like, if you notice, if you look at the trees from from afar. And when they get close by, you, you'd see a definite change in how the trees look like. Like you see the tree from afar, but when it gets closer, you, you st the details start popping in. Yeah? So you, you see a more detailed tree, which didn't look that way when it was from afar. 
and I think that's one of the limitations of the Unreal Engine. So that one I'm pretty much okay. But these signs, if they're popping in, then there should at the very least be a like a simple version, like a, a, a low res version from afar, so at least you can see them already. And then they, when they get closer, then it should pop in. The, the detailed versions should pop in and replace the lower versions, low res versions, yeah? If you get what I mean. So that will save on performance, but it would not uh, completely hide away the... Uh, what is that? It would not completely hide away the, the objects until the last minute. Ideally. But yes, I, I don't really like that approach of uh, actual signs popping in at the last minute. I hope they fix that. It is still the beta, so maybe there is still a chance, but I think it has something to do with... Uh, actually, I don't know, maybe it's texture related? I am not really sure. If it's the popping in, I think it's texture, it's texture related. It's the LOD. Level of detail thingy. This looks like a pretty complicated road network. Too bad we aren't seeing the niceness. I think we should be turning left. One sec. Sorry, I'll have to swerve. Oh no. Okay, the car is stopping for us. Thank you. Okay, I think we took the right exit. Based on the GPS on the lower right. Oh, look at this. Beautiful. Now we're getting somewhere. This is very nice. And with the water up there, this looks like a, a castle moat. Let's have a look how it appears from afar. Not too shabby. I know. <laughs> Super inconsiderate to stop in the middle of the road, but that's the only time I can take screenshots. And with a game that's focused on uh, having beautiful graphics, screenshots are definitely one of the must-haves, right? So yeah, I believe all games, if you're going to boast having nice graphics, then you also have to provide an avenue for your players to enjoy those graphics as well and uh, record them, store them in terms of screenshots, share them to people. And yeah, did you see that? The sign on the grass, the, the white sign with the grass name? The name appeared a bit too late. And initially, from afar, it was just a blank uh, white sign. And I have everything in Ultra. I have all my graphics settings in Ultra, so it shouldn't be a graphic settings issue. And this doesn't look good. Oh, or maybe it's just a traffic light, I don't know. It's just a traffic light. Alright, let's go. And we have a fern bus right in front of us. I think it's the same model. Might be. Might be interesting. Alright. Anyway, what else has been in the update? Uh, minimap added for player when out of the vehicle. Oh, that's what we saw. So when we're outside, we still see the minimap and it updates our exact position. Oh man, this is going so slowly. There we go, thank you. Maybe we swerve on our own. We don't let this guy do the swerving for us because he's not very good at it. Okay, and now he's able to swerve. <laughs> let us blow your mind. Sure. Alright, we're almost there. Casino. Oh, is there a famous casino in this city? For real. Maybe, huh? Maybe. Not too shabby. The update is very welcome. So far from what I've seen. It's not like a game changer, so not much has changed. But the game itself, the Switzerland and Austria DLCs are very nice eye candy. Not a lot of game-changing things though with this update from what I've seen. Like, uh, the physics has improved a bit, I think. Not too much though, but I guess it's uh, more realistic now, so that's always good. And the frame rate isn't that bad. Even with the improved uh, settings, so that's all very welcome as well. But yes, it's like, um, how do I say? For me, it looks like an aesthetic update, more or less. Like if you 
enjoyed the game before, then you'll still love it. If you didn't like the game before, you probably will still not like it. So it's not, I don't think it will be enough to change minds of people. So the same pattern will uh, be there. Oh, I like that. Articulated semi truck and trailer. Nice turn there. Good job on the turning. And us, let's do some turning of our own. Yeah, but yes, the, this city, the layout, the mapping, very nice. The textures, very nice. This is Austria unlocked, so I think we have been unlocked. We've been able to uh, um, visit all the Austrian cities. That's why that achievement. All right, we're good. And people have disappeared and popped up here. Yes. Go get your bags and go on your merry selves. Can we pick that up? No, maybe not. All right. Good. I think we're good. Let's go and check. No garbage here, right? I don't think that's part of this game mechanic. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, the lens flare is amazing. <laughs> it's a bit too much, actually. But yes, very nice update. Very welcome update. Not much of a game changer though, but uh, very welcome nonetheless. Let's see how we did. 9101, alright. All passengers transported, all the tickets sold, all stops completed. Yeah, that's the one. Contact with Central. Was that what I forgot to do? Service? Look at that. Almost perfect except for the air conditioning. Fine. Traffic rules, I did uh, have an accident, but I blame that fully on the AI merging into me. Yeah. Nonetheless, aside from that, it should be pretty good. Uh, we did have eight safety distances broken. Aha, I always forget about that thing. And speeding limits, I violated it a bit. Driven on road, 93.6, that's a bit weird. Anyway, all right, so there you have it. And then the last update, it says general, performance has been improved and streaming has been optimized. So yeah, I guess with all the textures that they added, that they improved, the fact that the game runs uh, the same or even a bit smoother, I think that's the improvement that they're pointing out. So that's nice. And I think the parking areas are much more visible now. I know I've had a hard time finding them before, so that's very good, that's very welcome. Yeah. So we'll probably, next episode, we'll probably explore Switzerland then because we've uh, unlocked and seen all the cities in Austria already. But Switzerland, I think, would be a nice, uh, nice uh, twist to it. All right. Anyway, thank you for watching, guys. Hope you liked that one. If you did, let me know in the comments. Looking forward to them. And don't forget to hit the thumbs up button, hit the like button, share with your friends. And uh, yeah, looking forward to seeing what you think. And please make sure to check out my Patreon page in the video description if you're interested in joining the community, becoming a patron for as low as $1 a month, and supporting the channel for more quality content. Hopefully, it's quality content. If not, then it's clumsy content. <laughs> that is how Fernbus Revisualized Beta looks like. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one. Bye-bye. Clumsy, signing off.